Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my videos on JKIX photography techniques. Um, today I'm going to be going over how to convert a normal Polaroid, when well, I say normal, one of the um, FP100C Polaroid jobs, so one of one of these ones, um, which gives you which gives you the regular shots that you peel apart film, um, looks like that. So what we're going to be doing is converting that or that image, but the what you what you peel apart from that, what we're going to be doing is um, converting that into a negative. So you take the shot, peel it apart. Um, so you've got your print. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking this and turning it into a negative that we can scan in and use and print out and do what we want with really. So the first thing you've got to do is to get rid of all this um, bits and pieces around the outside. It's just a bit that normally holds it in the actual camera itself. So you've got to remove all of that. Um, shouldn't take too long. I've seen some people cut it and that sort of thing, but I actually like the fact that you, if you peel it apart like this, you do keep the, the actual border by the film edges. Um, so that's what that's what I do. I just peel it apart by hand. Um, don't need to get all of it off right now. Just need to get the, the main the main bits off because we need to make sure that um, we're going to stick this to the glass. So we need to make sure that we can get a quite a clean. Um, quite a clean suction to it. Um, so I've just got a regular piece of glass here. Uh, I think I pinched this out the bottom of the fridge and the girlfriend wasn't watching, so um, I'm sure we put that back soon. But what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put some water on there just to create a surface so that that will stick to it, okay? So it's fine at the moment to get this, get this wet. I'm just gonna make sure that's stuck on there. Nice and tender, no bubbles or anything like that. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some bleach just straight to the straight to the back of this. Um, I'm just going to do this, and I'll chat about this bleach in a in a second. So I'm just going to put it over there, make sure it's covering it entirely. That's fine. Um, right, I'm just going to let that leave that on there. I'm just checking that it's completely covered. Yep, yep. So I'm just going to leave it on there for a second. I'm just going to have a chat. So when I, when I mentioned the, um, the bleach, one of the things to bear in mind that you do need uh, actual actual bleach. So this is this is what I mean. So it actually, it does have bleach in it. There's, there's lots of other ones where you know, you know like the cheap stuff, which um, which doesn't have the the active active ingredients of of bleach in it. Um, so you do need to make sure that it does actually have bleach, bleach in there, because that's the that's the thing that's actually re removing the backing of this. Okay. Um, one other thing to to note is the fact that the film I mentioned, the you know the the Fuji FP one hundred C, that's the that's the color one, um, and for example, the black and white one that I that I've used and lots of people use as well, the FP three thousand B one, um, that one. I haven't worked out a way of extracting the negative from that. I don't even know whether it's possible yet or not. But um, yeah, so at the moment, this is just for the, the FP100C. And, and they, they do other variations of it. But yeah, it's, it's that color one. Okay. Um, so what's what's been happening now, I'm just going to just gonna rub this gently now. Once um, that bleach has been on there active for a little while, I'm just going to rub. I'm just going to rub over that. Okay, and you can start to see the black black bits there it's all starting to come off um, it's up to you as to how how delicate you want to you want to be with this I mean obviously it's bleach and I'm using just my fingers here if you if you're partial your delicate skin I suppose then you could wear gloves or something like that um, but yeah just uh, be careful to wash everything properly afterwards so I'm looking at that and I can see that there is uh, uh, I'm not I'm not getting any any bits from, you should be able to see there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but in, in here, I can see that there's no, I can feel it as well, which is the other benefit of doing it with your bare hands, is that you can feel that all the emulsion has, has come off the back there. Okay, um, so let's just, let's just wash that off now. Now this bit as well, be careful, make sure that we're thankful here that the that the print is still the um, negative is still stuck there 
but just be mindful of the fact that sometimes the edges, okay, I don't know whether you can see that at the top edge up here. Yeah, you can see it's a little bit brighter. So a little bit of the bleach has just leaked in underneath there. It's not a major deal, it can, can create, create quite a nice effect. Um, but yeah, so that's all come off there like that. Okay, so once you're happy with it. So we have, we've cleaned all the gunk and stuff off the off this side of it. I'm just gonna flip it over. Now it's 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 covered in, in gunk on this side as well. So just running some warm warm water over this. And this this for some reason takes a little bit longer. Don't know why, but yeah. So you want to just make sure you're cleaning all that all that gunk off as well. Now this is where you will also see some of the bits where the where the print was was being held onto held onto the edges here. So you want to make sure you get get all that off. That will take a bit of time. I'll probably do that after the video. I'll just carry on and get the, the main gunk off the middle here. Uh, just get that bit off the top there. It's actually a lot, it's not as delicate as you think um, once you've done this bit. So, and, you, and again, with, with your bare hands, you'll be able to feel it. So it actually feels like there's no gunk on there anymore. It feels like it's nice and clean. Again, I'm just peeling off the edging as well. Um, just being a bit stubborn. I'll go that later. Uh, and then I think we should be we should be pretty much there. Okay. Let's just move this out of the way so you can so you can see it a bit clearer. A um, decent, a decent scanner to scan that in, um, and you've got yourself a negative color negative. Um, and obviously, being large like that, you've got some, you've got some great quality there. And I've just just scanned in a few earlier on this morning, and uh, it's, you get you get varying effects as you can see what we mentioned here about the you know, the bleach bleeding in and that sort of thing. So um, have a have a play with it. You might not you might not get it, get it first time. You might be too delicate or too Vigorous with it, so it is worth just playing around with a couple of different, different um, sort of ways of doing it. I, I tried sticking it down with tape. I tried all sorts of different ways of doing it, but I found actually just getting glass wet and then sticking this on it, getting it wet with water, and then pouring the bleach on, leaving it for literally, well, as you saw, only a minute or so, um, and then rubbing it off with your fingers gently, and that's it. Job done. Okay. Um, so hopefully, at the end of this video, I will also include some images, which will probably be showing up now of how this looks and the actual print itself. But yeah, thanks so much indeed for watching guys. Um, I did clean the sink especially for you, so uh, I hope you, hope you like the video for that. And uh, I'll catch you again. By all means, check out some of my more, uh, more advanced techniques with lighting setups and tutorials and that sort of thing on my website, jkicksphotography.com. And uh, yeah, thanks again guys.